When you receive your box, start by removing the banding and tape using a pair of scissors. Take all of your parts out of the box, taking care with the heavy base of the machine. Make sure to check all of your polystyrene before you throw anything away. We recommend laying out all of your parts and checking them against the manual to make sure you have everything required for assembly. When you begin assembling, start by removing the six bolts in the bottom frame using your Allen key. Lift the main frame using two people onto the bottom frame and align the holes. Place the wheels of the swing arms onto the silver parts of the bottom frame. Make sure the L-shaped piece fits underneath the frame. Replace the six bolts and tighten them using your Allen key. Remove the two screws from either side of the wheel frames. And replace the wheel covers over the top and secure them back down by replacing the screws. Next, attach the swing arms to the main base. Each swing arm will be labelled with a small R or L. Remove the bolts and washers from either side of the base. Slide the arms onto the base and replace the bolts once you have completed. Then add the hole covers over the top. Make sure to remove the zip ties from the wheel frames and the bolts from the pedal bars before this step. Connect the pedal bars to the swing arms. Each again will be labelled with a small R or L. Remove the bolt and washer from the bottom of the swing arm. and feed the end of the swing arm into the pedal bar. Then secure using the bolt previously removed. Then align the holes on the pedal bar near to the foot plate to the holes on the wheel frames where the zip ties were removed from. Secure using the bolt removed from earlier and tighten using both hex spanners. Then repeat this on the other side. Next, remove the four screws from the pedal bar plate. Then add the foot plate over the top. Each foot plate will be labelled with a right and left label. The high side of the foot plates should be facing towards the inside of the machine. Secure using the screws previously removed. Now remove the screws from the back of the monitor and connect the sensor wires from the monitor to the base. Make sure to align your pins in the wires make sure you hear a click for each one. 
If the wires are not fully connected, the data will not display correctly on the monitor. Reattach the monitor to the base using the screws removed. Make sure not to catch your wires when feeding them back into the frame. Lastly, connect the power cable to the front of the machine and plug into a socket.